Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Bedrock Let's Play. In which today, we're going to be fighting the weather three times. So, let's get the mouse out of here. Um, so, we've got a Smite 4 sword here, which was easier to get than I thought. Uh, turns out my uh, weaponsmith, yeah that's what they're called, weaponsmith was selling a smite 3 sword so I simply just combined it to get a smite 4 sword because I don't really need anything more powerful than that and I've also didn't need to do that it's kind of annoying that that can happen actually because I guess that just happens because originally you didn't need blaze powder to fuel it. I really wish you didn't need to do that now, to be honest. Because that means if you find one of these in the wild, you can't really use it until you've been to the nether. But, anywho. I have uh, found a interesting location to fight the wither. I think is what I meant was going to say. But while that's finishing up, I actually need to go get these soul sand I hope it doesn't have to be just are they in no they're standing right there well one of them is where the other one go okay so he has only one llama and I have no clue where the other one got off to may have went to the nether for all I know ooh so I don't have as much of that as I thought I did. <clears throat> and I did not want to do that. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It just did. Anywho. Yeah, I'm just going to simply go down here and go out to the open nether and Good lord. You guys just gonna be chilling in plain view? Simple answer, he is not just chilling in plain view. I believe you can use either soul sand or soul soil. To spawn the wither which is very lovely <laughs> but I'm just gonna gather a bunch of the stuff that I know that works just in case but I'm pretty sure you can use soul soil too but yeah Let's get on up and out of here and back to the overworld so we can uh, kill us like seven withers. No, I think it's eight withers. Yeah, I think it's eight withers. And I do have us a location to fight this, actually. I've actually found uh, a village or Two villages, rather. I think I'm going to be visiting on stream sometime. Because they have some interesting train generation. And by that, I mean a huge cave. Like, huge, massive cave. In case you didn't understand what I meant the first time, that was a frog that sounded like he was breaking his knees but really wasn't so I'm gonna swap these swords out yeah that's it I'm gonna take the golden apples golden apples with me just in case but I, I don't I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna need them 
Because I've done this a few times with... A few times, I say. I've done this quite a bit in my uh, long-term world. And I... Albeit with netherite armor, I never needed to actually... I've never been to the point where I needed to uh, eat the golden apple. Is it in my ender chest by any chance? Yes. The answer is yes, it is in my ender chest. But yeah, it's never actually gotten me low enough to actually need to use pop an apple. I can hope that that's the way it's going to go right now. Yeah, basically, I'm just going to fly off over here past this forest. Because I don't want to disturb the terrain over here too much. I like how they coded it to where it wouldn't generate with these harsh borders, like that one there where that river is. Yeah, that's not supposed to do that. This was... Uh, 1.18 was supposed to feature the... New and improved terrain blending tool that just does not seem to work at times. Is that just. What am I looking at here? Is this just half of a village house? It is. It's less than half of a village house. <laughs> oh, you just gotta love this game sometimes. But yeah, I'm gonna spawn it over here. Not too terribly close to that village. I also see another village just right over there. You know, this is a real pain, trying to find terrain that's not got a village near it. Is that another one over there? Yes, it is. What the hell? When you want them, you can't find them, and when you don't want to be near one... Ah. Too many. Yeah, basically, I'm just going to grab all this out of here. I'm going to keep... I don't need my shovel. I'm going to move my bow over. I'm going to keep this stuff on my hotbar in case I do need to fly out of here. Which, I don't... I don't see that happening. But, you can't be too sure. And I'm actually going to wait because it's getting dark. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I'm going to place two heads pop the potion place the last one oh crap I forgot to mine that put the armor on and yeah boom boom And I'm not really sure if the strength helps with a bow at all. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Thank. Come down here. Come down here. Oh, is that a wither rose? 
Did he drop a wither rose? I had a much easier time fighting this guy on sand. Whoa. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Okay. Just chuck all that dirt out. I hate this cave. Cave you could have generated anywhere, but you chose right there. Okay, let's get that star. And yeah, so yeah, we tore this place up pretty bad, which I was expecting that to be the case. Yeah, that's, uh... One down, seven more to go. And like you saw there, I really... never needed to eat a golden apple. And the key is dodging the heads. It seems like every third or fourth one is uh, one of the special ones. Why have you put me in a perfect hole? Okay, now I'm on stone. What? Fighting you from down here is not actually as easy as I thought it would be. We need to get this guy to destroy more of the dirt. Yeah, like that. Get rid of the dirt. The dirt is your... The dirt is your enemy. Once again, damn cave. Come here. Uh, so yeah, let's get rid of all this junk in our inventory because that, ugh. Copper. I'm not going to hate on copper. Copper can look pretty cool, but. Um, let's see. Anything we need to grab out of here? No. So that's two down. Um, I'm going to reap up on the potion here. Let's get this other guy in. I definitely see how netherite's more useful than diamond armor with the knockback resistance and all. Especially seeming as how bedrock's knockback seems to be vertical knockback, which is incredibly annoying. You want to just come over here, buddy? I want to I want to fight you on stone. Yeah, come over here. Over here. Yeah, there you go. Wait, did I just elytra there for a minute? 
Come over this way, buddy. Over this way. Okay, you critted yourself. <laughs> he knocked me up in the air and I struck him on the way down. My question is, with all these animals around, why isn't he targeting those aside from just me? Okay, where's the star? There it is. So, that's three down. Get rid of more of this. There you go, focus on me. Mainly because if you don't, there's villages here that will suffer greatly. Over here. There's a party over here. Come here. Come join the party. That works. For the rose. I did not realize that those could self-plant. No, I don't want the pork chop. Any more wither roses around here? Any? Okay. <clears throat> There's one. There should be two, yeah. Ooh. Let's maybe not walk into that, huh? Yeah, wither roses can be incredibly useful for stuff like uh, mob farms because you can just plop it down and is there any over here no that's copper don't really need any of that excuse me okay so there's a more wither roses than I initially thought which that's um, good I guess I'm not really sure what I would use them for but if I'm gonna do this this many times so I don't really have to do it anytime again soon I might as well get them while I'm here at least that's my idea um, yeah Six is enough. Did I? Nope. Drink up and this should work. This isn't Java edition where that would. Not sure why that screws it up, but it does.
spawn. Yeah, shooting that uh, special head back at him does quite a bit of damage. One more. Now we're in the easy phase of the fight. That's one way to get rid of a mountain, I suppose. Just spawn the weather and push him through it. Um, three more, I guess. Is my math right on that? Not on the wall. Yeah, my math was right on that. But this is why when I was talking about doing this fight, I said not to do it like you would on Java by spawning it deep underground. Because it's the tunnel strategy doesn't really work because it's its initial thing is it does where you moved and then went right back to the same spot pretty much which I guess is a good strategy because he fooled me You know what? I guess this is a good way to get some free cobblestone. I'll take it. This is stone I don't have to mine. So, kind of works out. All right, two more, two more. Um, this fight shouldn't take more than four minutes. I was right, it's not going to take more than four minutes. Hey you, get out of that mountain. Good weather. Really? Run, run, run. Yeah, the most damage he's done to me so far is two hearts. Or that's the farthest he's gotten my health down. This area is slowly getting more and more treacherous. 
If we're down to one more. I'm going to drink another strength potion before I do this one. Only 25 minutes. Holy crap. A nice hole you dug me here. Oh no, don't blow that up. Don't you dare blow that house up. Well, don't you dare blow that third of a house up. Oh, this... Oh, no. 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 Run. I am so glad that if you don't know... If you're playing on controller on any Bedrock platform... If you're using an Xbox-style controller, that is... If you press or just tap on the left stick, you can toggle run. I did not know that actually until a few days ago. Oh my god. That's eight withers gone in 27 minutes. Less than that, but we're at 27 minutes in the recording. Whew. Alright, let's get some of this junk out of out of our inventory. <clears throat> I would say this area is certainly uh, seen better days, but yeah, fighting him on dirt's not the best, but eh, it did the job, I suppose. Um. Hi, hey, buddy. No, that wasn't necessary, but I did it anyway. Um, so yeah. That's basically just going to be our dedicated shulker box for uh, fighting the wither. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Whew. That could have went very badly had he gotten away or too far away because there's three villages pretty close to this. And actually, yeah, I mentioned a village or an area near one that I might be vi visiting on a stream sometime. Yeah, I, I found this when sc scouting an area. Or scouting the area for the fight. Isn't that just cool? That has to almost be Deep Slate Layer down there. <laughs> that absolutely has to. Then there's this one, which I didn't bother looking in at all. Oh, that does go down to Deep Slate. One thing I've noticed is that these giant ones, if it's in a plains-ish or plains-type biome, tend to spawn next to villages or close to them. Maybe that's not the case, but if you find a village, there's more than likely going to be a cave near it, is what I'm getting at. So 
sleep the night away. Get me out of your house, sir. I want to go scout the blacksmith and see what treasures he's keeping. I know it wouldn't be impressive, but I, I was hoping for at least a diamond. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, what? Okay. I have never seen this and never heard of this happening before. What? At what? Oh, I feel bad for doing this. But at the same time, you just kind of walked up and started, well, whatever you did. Uh-uh. I'm confused about multiple things. Like, one, why did the polar bear just decide it was a good idea to just walk up and nom on me, for one? And two, why... I ain't gonna question it. <laughs> but this is one of the coolest bugs I've ever seen in this game. No, scratch that. Not one. It is the coolest bug I've seen in this game. Did I see a cave entrance over here? I did see a cave entrance over here. Number one, does it go anywhere? I hear skeletons. Okay, judging by the fact that there's iron here. Hang on. What? Your knockback annoys me greatly. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I had no clue this was here, and this would have been so useful to know about eons ago. <laughs> Music disc, though. That's cool. So, so far, <laughs> this episode's been pretty eventful so far. <laughs> okay. I am genuinely stunned. I won the glitched mountain was a cool thing to see. Um, two, 
that is spawner. Should I ever need tons of arrows? It's cool to know that it's there, I guess. Even though, more than likely, I would <laughs> probably, probably just buy arrows from my villagers. I mean, let's be honest. That's cheaply enough done. Yeah, let's land. And then I can reorganize my inventory to how it was before I fought the wither. Alright, let's grab some sand, because I'm going to craft these into beacons. I was going to save the first one to put in an item frame. To put in there with the dragon head. But I don't actually know which one's the first one, so... Yeah. It'll just have to be one of them out of the stack. Oh, three stacks of sand perfectly. How often does that ever happen? These furnaces have anything in them? No, they're decorative. Eh, I mean, I can waste lava, I guess. That's perfectly fine. Woohoo! Sploosh. Yeah, now down here, I'm going to grab some obsidian. So I only need 21, because it's 3 obsidian per, so. I hear a skeleton. Why do I hear a skeleton? Is there a cave above me? Must be, because there's... Oh. This leads into a cave. Yeah, I'm going to put this on my hot bar so I can keep track of it. Because I only need like 21 obsidian, I think. Because like I said, it is 3 per... I'm only going to craft seven. Which is going to only lead to one mining beacon, but that was an error in my original math. Anywho, so...
With efficiency 5, this actually isn't that painful. So. Yep, that's it. I need to come back down here and grab some more sometime so I can craft some more ender chest. But yeah, this is the tunnel I was talking about that slime spawn in. So. Yeah, I don't really need to kill magma cubes anymore for, uh. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess I'll sleep. That'd probably be a wise thing to do. But yeah, I don't really need to kill magma cubes anymore to uh, spawn, or not spawn, get fire res potions, because I can just mix blaze powder and uh, slime ball. Much easier and much less of a pain. Um... Yeah, I need leather. Do I have any... Maybe there's a thing of leather in this chest over here. Maybe I don't have to... Yes. Perfect. Magnificent, even. Where... There. I say, where did my water bucket go? I don't want to be losing that, because only bad things happen when you lose it. Boom. Yeah, this is a pretty nice treasure room, I guess. Which I still need to uh, get the obsidian for that sometime to make it a... Uh... I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, to make it look like uh, the pillars in the end. I'm even thinking about, I've actually thought about, oh, yeah, I can do that. I might put an end crystal on top of it, too, if I do that. I feel like that'd look pretty cool. I don't know why I'm looking over as if to check chat. This is not a live stream, clearly. <laughs> uh, silly habits. That is seven beacons. And now, I can do something I've been waiting a while to do. And this might not be the best place to put it, but I can move it any time I need to, so. So I need a 9x9. Nine nine to start out with. And we go one out this way. Three out this way, I believe. This is going to use so many of these emerald blocks. And it took so long to get this many. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. Ah. 
I hope I'm building this right. I hope I didn't go too big. Because that's a distinct possibility too, is that I went too big. Did I? Let's see, one, two, three. There's an easy way to see if I did go too big. Yeah, I did go. I, I definitely did go too big. So let's go jump or speed. Followed by haste. I said followed by haste. And that's followed by resistance. May have just wasted an emerald there, by the way. Followed by jump boost. Followed by strength. Followed by our last effect. Which is just regeneration. really haste to yes that is undoubtedly haste to so yeah I did go a way too big on this one side but that's fine because that's pretty easy to rectify And notes for the future, I can always write that down. So. Now, if I wanted to have been super efficient with this, I would have put that down at bedrock. But for something like this, if you just want to basically have it up to look at, which is why I put it on the surface myself. And yeah, uh, I need more torches. Hang on. Whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to grab the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh man, that feels good. Well, 
it won't be long and it'll be back to the emerald grind with the villagers because yeah I need more emerald blocks for the mining beacon so we'll be back to working on that but that's just A year ago, when I first started this, I would not have thought that I would have a beacon on bedrock. Because the bedrock wither is a different animal to Java. And on Java, I have never actually fought the wither above ground. I've always done it the way I saw well, in Luke the Notable's video. And actually, a year ago, I don't think I'd even fought the Wither on Java. No, I may have done. I don't remember my first time fighting the Wither on Java. Hmm. I remember the last time I fought the weather on Java. Die. I remember the last time fighting the weather on Java because it, one, truthfully, wasn't really that long ago. Yeah. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, that was... I'm still just kind of bewildered by everything that's happened. With the skeleton spawner, the buggy mountain over there, this, yeah, it's been a good episode. So yeah, with that being said, I've been confined to 68.1. If you made it this far into the video, please remember if you liked to leave a like. If you like, really liked, uh, drop a subscribe. And yeah. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.